After being a missionary for all those years, I was like, I'm tired. And I was really depressed and always thought about suicide. I was really searching in my heart to know Jesus. I can remember walking in for the first time and I'm thinking, what is this? And in a matter of seconds, Sandra and I both had our very first experience with the Holy Spirit. Wow, the glory and the presence of God has come upon me. I knew that I had just seen what I was going to give the rest of my life to. And because of what God did on the floor in Toronto, I dared to believe. And suddenly my eyes were beginning to be opened to the fact that God absolutely had an unchangeable love for me. My life was changed, my, my ministry was born again. I just started to weep up here, just the sheer goodness of God's mercy and His love. God healed me, and I haven't felt pain for one day since. There's not supposed to be movement back there, but something definitely moved, and when it did, the pain went out of my legs. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Did that hurt you? What? <laughs> That's awesome. It didn't hurt. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. I can take you in the room where the giants of MS and other diseases were slain. It's all over this room. Giants have been slain here. Great miracles are happening. Arms are growing and people used to die and now they are being resurrected and healed. It just changed the whole way that we did church. This is a revival of love. This is a revival of transformation and intimacy with God. We are going to be making an impact not only in the city of Toronto, but all around the world. It's a tree that's bearing good fruit. And God really used Toronto to put a fire and a thirst in a generation. It has spread the Father's love to every corner of the earth. The best days of the church are just ahead, and I believe that this is a revival that will never end. It's changed my life forever. I will never be the same.